soulmates welcome back to my channel if this is your first time checking out this my channel you are highly welcome and for all my subscribers who keep coming back thank you so much today I'll be showing you how to make a petal sleeve or some people call it a tulip sleeve now one of my subscribers have been um, asking me to show them how I achieve a petal sleeve and today I'll be showing you this method now there are two ways in which you could achieve a petal sleeve one way is by using two identical sleeve patterns and when I say identical sleeve patterns I'm talking about the patterns must be cut the same way so you know usually when you're cutting your sleeve pattern when you cut this is one sleeve then the back would it would be like this so this is the front and this is the back it would be like this when you're cutting right but you need to cut the, the get two identical sleeve patterns where you have the front and also the front on the same side now when you're drafting a petal sleeve you're going to ask yourself um, how open you want the sleeve to be and what I mean by open I mean remember when you're drafting a petal sleeve you're going to have one sleeve sleeve over the other so what you're going to do is that first you're going to determine where you want the the laps to meet so in this case I'm going to so I'm working on my first sleeve so let, I'm working on my first sleeve from my midpoint I'm going to go down about this depends on you I'm going to go down about five and a half inches and I'm going to mark the same thing here on the other sleeve five and a half inches because that's where I want the opening to be so now what you're going to do is that you're going to determine um, how far over on the cap head you want the lap to start. So in my case, remember this is the front. The front is always deeper than the back. So I'm, in this case, I'm going to go over. Say I want mine to start about three and a half inches on both sides. So I'm going to... And so I'm working on the front now because what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut off the back first But just watch what I'm doing and you'll understand. So this is my midpoint I indicated it with a little notch and this is the midpoint right here What you're going to do is that you're going to come down as I said it depends on you five and a half inches and I went over on the front armhole three and a half inches now to determine where i want it to curve i'm going to go to my midpoint and i'm going to go over about three inches is fine and what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to take my curve you're going to determine how you want it to be curved also that depends on you so i'm going to take my curve and i'm going to try to adjust it so that I have a nice little curve going on right here so I connected that three and a half inch mark to the five and a, five and a half inch mark there and then I'm just going to try and get a lovely curve going over so I'm going to move my my curve the curved part of my ruler in such a way that it gives me a nice curve okay I want a nice curve for this so I'm just gonna move move it so that it gives me a nice curve okay okay so this is fine by me so I went over about a quarter inch more than the 
the half inch more so here i went in three and a half inches okay so what you're going to do is that this part is gonna go off you're gonna cut this off so now you will have the back part so now what you're going to do is going to you're going to start on the front part so you're gonna do the same thing so i went down from the midpoint five and a half inches there and i'm gonna go over three and a half inches just the same on this part right here and remember i went across from here three and a half inches also so from this part of oh, this is my midpoint now i know because of the crease that i have there so from here i'm gonna go over three and a half inches also and then i'm going to connect okay I'm going to connect. Try to get the curves nice and same. Okay. You could also use your free hand to get it. It's fine. So now you're going to cut off this part. This part is gonna go off, okay? So what you, you find is that you have the back piece and you have the front piece. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. You don't need this anymore. And you don't need this anymore okay so now what you're going to do you're going to put midpoint to midpoint so this is what you're going to have and this is what the petal sleeve looks like so all you're going to do is that you're going to put this on your fabric right and you're going to cut it out add your necessary seam allowance and you're going to cut this out but another way in which you could achieve this sleeve there's another way in which you could achieve this sleeve so let's this is my basic sleeve pattern right you could go ahead and mark you could go ahead and mark so three and a half inches I'm gonna come down by five and a half inches then I'm gonna go across here three and a half inches three and a half inches from here okay and also I'm gonna go across three and a half inches it's the same thing that I put on both patterns. it's just that I'm just doing it on one pattern and I'm, then I'm going to connect all these lines like this I hope the lines is not confusing you this is just a pattern for a client that I made okay and what you could do instead of drawing two different um, patterns you could just take your tracing wheel so you're going to take your tracing wheel and you're going to put this fabric on another piece of paper like this and then you're going to trace out all the way around trace it out stop there you get that side you add your necessary seam allowance then you take this again put it on another one then you do the front and you cut all of this side I hope you understand so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put this on my fabric cut it out and then show you what it looks like when you sew it up Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to sew it. Ensure you notch the middle, okay? I'm just using the same the same fabric for the lining and the main fabric as the main fabric and the lining. So, 
you could use a different fabric or you could use bias strip to finish the edge of it it just depends on you all right so i'm gonna work on the back first okay and i'm gonna take my seam allowance that i have left which is half an inch and i'm gonna sew the opening first let's top stitch you're gonna top stitch So guys this is what you're going to have okay just ensure that you notch because it's gonna be very important when you're gonna turn it okay you could go ahead and just um, give it after you iron it you go and you give it a stitch to keep it down at the top okay so I went ahead and I give it a stitch to keep it at the top and then I'm gonna sew the other one okay so now that you have done this what you're going to do is you're going to find the middle see so the middle and you're going to match it to the middle of the other one like this okay so middle to middle and you could determine how you want it to be you could remember this is the back remember this is the back this is the front you could put the back over the front or the front over the back it doesn't matter it depends on you what you want and what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna run another stitch just to secure it in place so remember don't let the middle shift you don't want the middle to shift so let me pin it okay and then i'm going to just run a stitch to secure it don't let the middle shift Oh, you can remember it's gonna be like this okay so what you can do is main fabric to main fabric like this lining to lining match them up at the edge like this ensure that they're match and then you take your seam whatever seam allowance that you have left so all you're doing is that you're sewing this down on the seam allowance that you have left so I'm gonna do that now Okay, so made. So this is the result of the petal sleeve um, that we have just made. You see how beautiful it is and how neat it is. So all you have to do is to go ahead and attach it to your project. So if you find this video helpful, do not forget to give me a giant thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. Until we meet again, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!